uh, something I've been working on um, that might be of interest is the um, extension to the batch processing tool. So in the batch processing tool, um, the user can select a folder or set of files and run a process over them. Uh, so in this case, I have a set of files that I split. They're all in MARC format. Um, so I can run uh, the batch processing tool select that folder and I can convert uh, all those file types uh, from work uh, to the mnemonic format. Okay. Um, so if I want to run a task over all those files, let's say I have all of these files created now um, and I want to run a task or a combination of tasks on them, uh, the way I have to do that is open um, the files individually and run them, or I have to write uh, a, um, uh, a shell script uh, to do it. So um, to simplify this process, I've added a new checkbox that says load tasks. It loads the tasks um, that are in MarkEdit into uh, the window. Again, you tell it what uh, file type you're looking for um, and select the folder that you want to process. So I process these, and these are the mnemonic files that were processed. And now I can run it again. Um, and MarkEdit will now run um, whatever was defined within that task against all of the files um, in that folder or in that folder in that subfolder. Sometimes it takes a little longer to run this process. And that has an awful lot to do with the fact that the uh, uh, tool is essentially running um, all of the uh, task operations, so that takes a little bit of time. Um, it would actually be faster to run it through uh, the command line tool because there's a the command line tool accesses the um, data uh, directly, but this is a more user um, friendly interface for doing that. And so I can process those files. If I look here, I can see that those files have been processed. And then if I need to convert those all back uh, to MARC files, I can go back into my folder that's been processed. Until I'm processing MRK files, I reload my functions. And I tell them I want to go from mnemonic back to MARC processes have been run. And so now I've got my file again processed um, and the tasks have been run on it. So it took three steps, but um, definitely faster than having to process the files, then touch each one individually, and then um, resave. So hopefully that will be a little bit easier um, and it'll be available on the next uh, update.